hello welcome back to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please like my videos and please put on the bell so in today's video we'll be talking about how abby and pragya finally got married again after getting separated for two years so if you are interested please watch this video till the end abby says that he had thought that marriage can be terminated anytime but for pragya it is a lifetime commitment he says now it is the same for both of us a contract marriage he says this relationship will be my life start i will search my happiness in this relationship he says people will thought this relationship wrongly but i will do it rightly as i am like you now abby opens the cinder bottle and fills in pragya's forehead pragya gets hairy eyes a song plays in the background rambo asks prachi what happened to her prachi says that she is happy very happy he asks why did you run like this prachi says i ran behind rhea as she was running to her room she says I was worried for her as she locked the door. Rambro says even we closed the door. She says it seems that she did not want to face anyone. But later, she told me that she was unwell. Rambro asks, why are you happy? Prachi says, Rhea called me sister today and hugged me and told me that she got her mic a year. Prachi says since we came here, mommy, daddy, grandma are happy and most importantly, you are happy. Prachi says that she is very happy. Sony comes there and says that the flowers are brought. Prachi says, Mommy gave me the responsibility of Janama Smith to me. Rambo asks her to impress him as he is Krishna for Grandma. Sushma wipes the cinder from Pragya's hand. She says, When this marriage was already done, then this is not needed. Tanu asks, Why are you getting sentimental? This is just formality. We shall move legally. The lawyer shows the contract marriage papers. Then, why paperwork is needed? The court will believe on this marriage. Aliyah says the paperwork is needed to safeguard their interest as neither of them wants to be in the marriage. It is a six-month marriage and just as the contract ends, then the marriage will be dissolved. Abby says our real marriage will be contract marriage and says if we get feelings, then this contract will remind us. Sushma says that this would happen if you behave nice husband in front of the world. Abby says I don't know good acting, but I learn staying with your daughter. Abby says, I will be a good husband and thinks if I have to do something bad with her, then I have to be good. Abby and Pragya sit to sign on the contract. Abby holds Pragya's hands and says that, I don't doubt your mind. Whatever you will do is for your benefit. He asks her to think again, as it will be the deal of loss. Tanu says, Abby. Sushma thinks that if Pragya changes her mind, Alia thinks that her brother is sensible. Pragya asks Abby to leave her hand and says, I want to sign. She says, when you have agreed, then why do you not want me to sign? She says, she is not from the person who says something and does something else. Pragya says, it is my advantage and not loss. Abby says, loss is just loss. She asks him not to worry about her loss. She signs on the contract papers. Abby claps. Tano thinks that the way they are fighting, I thought they would tear the papers. Aliyah thinks that her brother might come in Pragya's talks. Sushma thinks that they shall not fight in front of the world. Abby thinks that she was always selfish to have left him and now letting him come into her life. He signs the paper too and says, I am coming into your life to take revenge from you. He says, whatever you did with me, I will do with you and you will not know. He shakes hand with her. Pragya thinks, I never thought that I would let you come into my life again and says, I am letting you stay with me for Prachi's happiness. Siddharth comes and asks Prachi what she is doing. Prachi asks him to say, Siddharth says that the Jastamantani arrangement, he says he became like office boy doing office work. Prachi laughs. Rambro comes there and says that he never joke with him. He says he thinks that he likes his wife. Siddharth says that he loves his wife. Rambro sees Rhea coming and asks, did Siddharth tell you that you are beautiful in this clothes and it seems that it is meant for you? Siddharth asks Prachi to see that Rambro is pulling his legs. Prachi tells Rambro that she is here. Rambro says Rhea is his sister-in-law and says that he can tease him using his sister-in-law. He says, I have Rhea to make fun of Sid. He tells Rhea that he said all that to tease Siddharth. Prachi says that she is looking good. Rhea says that she looks good in pink dress and says that he can tease her. After all, she is his sister-in-law. She says they shall laugh more and take less tension as she heard that age increases and bonding builds. She sees the Jastamatami celebrations and asks what is happening here. Prachi says, today is Krishna's birthday at 12 a.m. Rhea says, I shall help you. Prachi says that she has done everything and asks her to rest. 
Rhea sits in the temple and thinks that why are you excitant to talk to me, Rambro? Palavi comes there and tells Prachi that her acidity is cured due to her and asks her to take her help if she wants. Prachi says that she will try to do all the arrangement. Palavi says that she wants good result and she goes. Rhea thinks that mommy haven't seen me. Prachi sees the decoration stuff falling down and climbs on the table. Rhea tries to make the table fall down, but Rambro holds Prachi in his arms. He says whatever happened is good. Sida says he will take their picture. The lawyer says I will send the copy to Sushma and I will give the original to Tano. Tano asks for the money. Sushma shows the cash amount. She says as you said everything is in cash. Sushma tells Tano that everything is in cash like you said. Tano asks the lawyer if he did not see money before. Tano says I always count my money by myself and I don't trust anyone. But trusting Pragya, she thanks Abby. Abby gets up and says this is my price. Tano says this is your rent for six months and asks him to think what will be the price for the lifetime. She says you are priceless. She then asks Sushma to arrange for the car and the driver to take the cash to their house. Abby asks them to tell grandma that he will come to meet her. Alia asks if you are not coming with us. Abby says the contract has started. Tano asks Abby to come with her as she needs to talk to him. She tells Abby that she trusts him but not Pragya. She asks him to remember what she has done with you, Rhea and others. Tano says if you remember this, then you will not fall for her. Abby says this will not happen. He asks them to send clothes for him through Sumit. He says he has planned surprise for Pragya. Tano and Alia leaves. Abby comes to Pragya and Sushma and calls Asuma to Sushma. Abby says if daughter-in-law's grand Paresh can happen, then why not son-in-law's grand Paresh? Sushma calls and child and asks her to bring the outie plate. Abby asks Kajukitri who will work for the Prasad. He says, where did you meet Pragya? Sushma says, excuse me, I need to make an important call. Abby says, that is why I ate the phone. He says, I wanted to know how she met her. How did Pragya become like this Pragya? If she was the same like this, or she was acting before with me. Pragya looks at the vermilion in her head and gets teary eyes. Siddharth asks Rhea why she is feeling angry. Rhea says she is feeling angry as Prachi fell down due to her. She says, Prachi, if she is fine and says if you would have fallen and hurt, then the blood would have come out from you and then I wouldn't have forgiven myself. Prachi says, Rambro has saved me. Rhea thanks Rambro. Rambro says she is my wife. Sida says, I thought you are angry on them. Rhea says, I cannot lose my sister, whom I met after many years. She asks Prachi. Prachi says she likes to hear sister's word from her. She goes to meet grandma. Sida tells Rambro that he never saw Rhea so much happy. Rambro says even he did not see Prachi so much happy before. He asks him to go and romance with Rhea. Sida tells Rhea that she is looking good in this color. Rhea thanks him and goes. Prachi comes to grandma and asks about the Balgopas clothes and jewelry. Grandma says it is in the locker and says that she has an idea. She will talk to Palavi and she would inform her. Pragya calls Prachi and says your father has come home. Prachi says really? You brought him here. Pragya says I will take care of him and I will make him leave the wine. Prachi says okay. She says that she has to go to Papa's doctor and get his report. Pragya asks her to show the report to her. Prachi says I cannot believe that my father is here. Pragya says my daughter has asked me to do something. I because Pragya. Prachi says Papa is calling you. Prachi thanks God that everything is happening nicely on Jansamatani. The servant calls Pragya. Pragya comes there. Abi tells Sushma that Pragya's grand perish happened many times, but this is my first time and asks her to do it nicely. Pragya stands with Abi on his insistence. Sushma does his tilak. Abi thinks that he will come to take out Lashmi from this house. Sushma does their outie. Abi owes Pragya's aunt and gets inside. Sushma walks behind them. Abi says, I am Jamai of this house and whatever I will do, I will do with you in this house. He goes to the room and says, I have given you a chance to refuse for this deal, but you did not stop. He says, you have bought me here and insulted our past and haven't made me ashamed. Pragya comes there. Abby says, you must be feeling proud to buy a husband. He says, I gave you a chance, but you wanted to buy me. Pragya says, you want to fight with me. Abby says, I can make you feel bad. Pragya asks, what do you want? Abby says, I have understood that I am here as a contract husband for six months and says I am your bodyguard, your guard, your cook and everything. Abby says don't mix office contract with this contract. I will come with you to the office. He says I will sleep here on this side. Pragya says I will sleep on the other side. 
Abby says she will sleep with me and asks her to sleep on the sofa. Pragya says it is my bed and my room. Abby asks her to change her habit. Pragya says okay. Abby says you have snatched my piece. I will snatch yours. Pragya says I am going to work. She goes. Sushma is standing out and hearing them. Abby says I called you Sasuma and you started behaving like that. Sushma says yes, I came to talk to you. She says Pragya and you have a contract marriage, so don't try to be her husband. Abby says I understand that you bought me to show the world and tells that it was stupid before, but not anymore. Sushma says it will be good for you both. Aliyah and Tanu comes home with the big money bags. The neighbor asks on where do they steal the suitcase. The lady taunt her. Tanu says she will fulfill all her wishes and asks her if she shall slap her. Tanu gets into an argument with the lady. Aliyah whispers to Tanu to come from there and says you are fighting leaving the money bags. Thank you for watching my videos. Please like this video, share it and please subscribe to this channel for more updates about the world. Thank you.